the physical performance test today. I'm ready for today's physical performance test. On Saturday and Sunday, I practice my dribbling. Therefore, I'll be fine. I'll do it. From today, I'll stop being just a simple chubby boy. I'm gonna become a physical chubby boy. Your body is screaming out. I did warn you, but you chose to ignore my advice and went out clamming anyway, so... I want to take a day off from school. Don't start whining. Here, your miso soup. It contains some of the clams you brought back. I don't ever want to see a clam again. Well, you don't get to make that request. You have to learn to take responsibility. Uh, uh, my, my body. My body's crying out in pain. It's, it's killing me! Grandpa, what? Him too? Now you've got company. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't hold out. That's how he was. I'm not kidding here. He had used up all his strength to make it to the living room. I understand that. I'm the same. Sometimes my body feels like it wants me gone. Man, today had to be the day for the test. Yeah, well, our bad luck. Okay, everybody, please get into your gym clothes and head on out to the school grounds. Frankly, the time has come for the physical performance test. Ono, oh, you ready for this? Let's go. Ono-kun and Sugiyama-kun, they're raring to go. Yeah, they'll be the heroes of the Let's day do for this. sure. Let's give it our all today. Wrong. The hero of the day won't be Ono-kun or Sugiyama-kun. It'll be me, Kosugi-kun. <laughs> because I, because I, I will be reborn today! The pain. My body is in such pain. This is the curse of clamming. Noguchi, what's wrong? You look like you're in pain. <laughs> you're not trying to get out of taking today's test, are you? No answer. Does that mean I'm right? Yamada. Huh? Be quiet. <laughs> not bad. Hey, see that? Noguchi was able to shut Yamada up with one hit. Yup, only Noguchi can deliver that fatal blow. Chen, I'm useless. My maximum is a measly seven meters per throw. That's really not so bad. Mine is eight. We're not that different. We haven't started off well at all. All that pain, that's why. Right. Both my arms and legs are aching. I knew it. Deal. That's the minimum. Go on, man. Ask. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, we both know I'm better. <laughs> hey, guys. Huh? Uh, I, uh, I, I was hoping you could tell me the trick to throwing. The trick? There's no trick to it. My way is to throw with all my strength. Okay, I see. Thank you. So there's no trick to it. Just throw with all your strength. That's what they told you. Next, Fujiki-kun. All right, you're up next. Best of luck. <sighs> is it true? All I need to do is throw it with all my strength? Could it be? <gasps> oh, Lord. Give me the strength I need to do this. <gasps> The ball Fujiki threw hit the ground near his feet very hard and then bounced away a bit. So his record now is 50 centimeters. The ball you threw actually made a dent in the ground. You should fix that. <laughs> Fujiki, well done. 50 centimeters only. <laughs> no, Chan, you can't laugh out loud. It's rude. Sakura-san, looking at her laughing. It could happen to me. I know I'm vulnerable to an incident like that. <laughs> Fujiki, he concentrated and threw the ball as hard as he could throw it. 
but he only got 50 centimeters. It's 50 centimeters, but it's still called a record. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sakura-san, both of us just witnessed something quite rare. Pardon? Yes, Fujiki's 50 centimeters. You saw that. That was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Noguchi-san and myself. In everyday life, we're just usual classmates. But when it comes to comedies, we're best friends. We're known as the comedy friends. Noguchi-san and I are like that. By Maruko, a poem about a relationship. <sighs> Fujiki-kun, you look ridiculous. It was a cowardly action. Not me. I won't mess up like that. I have confidence in my strength. Just watch me. Next, Kasugi-kun. I'm ready. I'll get bored standing around watching this guy. No thanks. Let's go. I have a hunch something will happen. Uh huh? Because Kasugi ah! looks different. Ah! Whoa! Kasugi-kun, 32 Did meters. Oh, that's so far! Oh, how'd he do that? It's way too early to be amazed. There's more coming. So close. It was only a few meters behind my throw. He's coming across as a completely different person today. Oh. Don't know why, but for some reason, Kazuki couldn't look great. Sure, you threw just 50 centimeters, so he should look great to you. Oh. Oh, next up is the 50-meter dash. That's hard for someone with sore muscles. Yeah. This test is something I'm going to have a hard time with. Look at my body. Still, I'm going to run as fast as I can. I'll charge to the goal like a bullet out of a gun. Okay, the 50-meter dash is next. Please get into pairs and line up. Make it snappy. Tama-chan. Since we're both quite sore, let's run together. Sure. Kasuki-kun, let's run together. What do you say? What? With you? You're kidding. Fujiki-kun is actually challenging Kasuki-kun to run? Fujiki-kun should be able to defeat him in this test. Okay. Get ready! Go! <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! All the muscles in my body ache. Please let this be over soon. It hurts. Sakura-san, 9.8. Honami-san, 9.9. .9. What? 9.8? <laughs> but that's faster than usual. Yeah, same here. It's a good thing, Tama-chan. The pain was pushing us hard. Yeah, I guess. Lucky for us, am I right? Yet they claim that their bodies are totally worn out. <laughs> It seems the Gucci san is in severe pain, too. Yeah. Look, Kosugi and Fujiki have started the 50-meter dash. Yeah, I see. Kosugi is running, and the ground is trembling. Ah. And right now, he looks exactly like a big snowball rolling down a slope. Ah. Fujiki stumbles. He hits the ground hard. At this moment, he looks like some sort of comedian. Come on, Fujiki. Pull. <laughs> Maru-chan, you can't laugh out loud like that. Sakura-san. <laughs> Noguchi-san. He did it again. Fujiki's second act. I know, that fool. In this test, his record is 18 seconds. Kosugi <laughs> <laughs> seems to be on fire today. Yeah, his record for the 50-meter dash is 8.7 seconds. What? 8.7? Amazing. They're talking about me. <laughs> Kasuki's performance after that was overwhelming. And soon, all his dribbling practice paid off. I've never seen Kasuki try so hard before. I've never seen him move this fast before. Whoa! 12.5! I did it! That's a great record! I respect him. Yeah. However, Fujiki is... His hand slipped, and he had to chase after the escaping ball. By now, both Noguchi-san and Maruko had completely lost interest in watching him. <laughs> the family dines out at a French restaurant. Let me give you an example. 
I'm a fan of a certain dish called shrimp coquille. But my father told me his absolute favorite French dish is sauteed flavored fresh amard fricasse. My goodness, is that even food? It's French cuisine. I eat French cuisine at least once a week, you know. Really? So how does French food taste anyway? Is it very delicious? You see, white meat and white fish are usually in a cream sauce. And brown sauce is mainly for beef. As you can tell, the sauce plays a role. What? The sauce does? You mean like steak sauce on a steak, that sort of thing? Anyway, I really hope you get a chance to try some French cuisine at least once in your life. Try! I'm sure you'll like it. That creamy white sauce is the best. So jealous. I want to try that shrimp dish she spoke about. Yeah. Mm. I'm home. We're going out for a French cuisine dinner tonight. So make sure you have an appetite. Eh? Wow. I can't believe we're going out for French cuisine. I don't know. Isn't that a bit of a strain on the wallet? Or did you make a fortune on the stock market? Amazing. It's not that. One of my friends asked me. She runs a French restaurant, so I thought it would be nice to try something different tonight. That's all. No kidding. You mean to tell me you have a French friend? Japanese people are capable of cooking French food. This is gonna be awesome! Until right now, I've only dreamed about eating French cuisine. A dream come true. So, I'll starve myself until dinner time, then eat a lot. Okay. Exercise. A one, two, three, four. Hey, sis, did you hear the news? Hmm? For dinner, we're going to a French restaurant. How cool is that? Serious? Yeah, it's true. French food. There's no way. Our family can't afford it. Mom and Dad are going to regret it the minute they see the bill. That's pretty smart. This insight comes from being on this planet three years longer than Maruko. Come on, Mom. I'm serious. I don't like it. But what's wrong with it? It's so beautiful. I don't like the shaped waist. It's too tight. As a result, so is my stomach. I need something much looser than this. You ready? You definitely seem eager. Oh, yeah, you bet I am. This treat is something I'm going to take maximum advantage of. Is it possible to do something about this horrible hairstyle I've got? Should a young lady who's dining on French cuisine look like I do right now? Listen, Mom, I'd like to get my hair permed. No way. Fine. Then can you tie it up in a bun for me at least? Something is wrong with you. Such a pest. Have a great time. Yes, enjoy. And no need to bring anything back for us. No need whatsoever. No, please. You don't have to worry about us. We'll be fine. I mean it now. No need to buy anything for us. Oh, this looks like a real fancy joint. Honey, lead the way, please. Actually, I think you should lead the way. Cut it out. Stop acting like a young couple. Fine, I get that you're scared. All right, I'll be the first to walk in. Mm. Hi, good evening. Please, come on in. Good evening. Huh? Are you talking to me? Wow! Hello, sir. The menu for you. Ah, uh, right. The menu. Thank you. Oh, look at the prices here. Ah, uh, dear. You said a friend of yours invited us here. Where is this person? Uh, I say we apologize and get out of this place. What? No, we can't. That's so embarrassing. I thought 20,000 yen would be enough for tonight's dinner. But then, even if we order the cheapest course, it's still 24,000 yen for us. Uh, what do we do then? Leave? You don't want to end up owing the restaurant anymore, do you? I can fix that. I brought 5,000 yen from my New Year's money stash in case of an emergency. <gasps> Good thinking. Well done. May I take your order, sir? Uh, well, I think we'll each have an order of the Impulsive Hunter's Breeze course, and that should be it for the moment. What sort of dish is that? Here are your starters. A fish from the Indian Ocean, an extremely rare species. Indian Ocean? Ah, even a deep-fried sardine. 
can look absolutely gorgeous if it's presented on a big plate. A sardine? This is a rare fish from the Indian Ocean? So these fish were caught by Indian people. What does he mean, rare fish from the Indian Ocean? He never said anything about its flavor, and they never bothered to ask him either. Here are your hors d'oeuvres. Marinated salmon with endive, a shallow flavored oyster, and finally you have smoked quail. Oh, yes. Hey, Mom, what's this again? What? It doesn't matter. Just be quiet and eat. Um. I thought this was a more casual place. It seems every bite we take costs about a hundred or so yen. A child has no clue. Mm, I don't know. It's not great. I like the first round better. <laughs> mm -mm, maybe you're right. Because of the price, I make myself believe it all tastes good. But you just pointed out the truth, Maruko. This is today's fish. Japanese sea perch puller cooked delicately in fennel sauce. Ah. Wait a sec. That's a fish. A fish with no bones. I gotta try this. Mm. Oh. <gasps> I never would have dreamed there could be something so delicious. Oh. Mm. Ah. Uh, oh no. Here, miss, a new nap for you. Thank you very much. Sorry about dropping that. I didn't mean to cause trouble. Dad, you're gonna have to give that waiter a big tip. He's so nice and helpful. Don't worry about it. You have no idea about any of this, so quiet. At last, the maids. The Impulsive Hunter's Breeze course is about to be presented. Thin slices of deer back meat and fig steamed with white wine. Stop it, Maruko. You shouldn't be staring at people like that. It's just that I find those people amazing, that's all. Which people? <sighs> Are you done, miss? Uh -huh. Please, let me take that. I'm stuffed. I wasn't able to finish off the deer meat. Maruko, when you can't finish your meal, you should tell me before your plate is taken away by them. I've never heard of such a manner when eating French food. Huh? <laughs> yes, that's right. Is that true? Hey, Mom, check that out. That man right over there, his dish looks really tasty. And after that... Look, his food's in a wooden box, and he's using chopsticks. That's interesting. Yeah, you're right. I wonder what it is. Uh, sir? Yes, miss? Can you tell me what that man there is eating? Oh, uh, that's enough, Maruko. He has chosen the Western Bento Box. The uh -huh. Western Bento Box? You hear that? Bento Box! Bento! <laughs> and he's got some chopsticks, too! Enough, Maruko! <laughs> Please, be quiet! I was really hoping to make this date work. Why did I choose to order a dish that would catch the attention of the people on the table next to me? It's all my fault. How could I make such a terrible decision? <laughs> Uh, okay, are we good to go? Yep, I can't eat anymore. Maruko, give me that 5,000 yen you brought. I need to pay the bill, thanks. Here, pay me back later. This is a loan. Yes, I'm aware. You'll get it all back. Now, don't mention it again. I don't want to feel as if I'm in deep debt. Right. I have a total of 25,000 yen. Four orders at 6,000 is 24,000 yen. We'll get 1,000 and change. Hello, I'd like to pay our check, please. Sure. Uh, 26,400 yen. Yeah? How is that? Four orders at 6,000 each, so it should be 24,000 yen. Am I right? Yes, sir. But that's just the cost of the meal itself. There's also a 10% tax and service charge added on. The waiter's right. There's always a tax and service charge added on a meal. Dad, what uh, 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 
I'm sorry. I just remembered some urgent business. May I use your phone, please? Sure. Hello, Sakura residents. Hi, we're fine. How are you? There's no need, so please don't worry. <laughs> no, you don't need to get anything for us. I know, that's not it. Listen, I left a wallet on the TV set. Can you bring that to me, please? No, I'm not buying anything for you. Looking at her father's back, Maruko came to the realization that she wouldn't eat French food again until she was older. And her intuition turned out to be true. Uh, yes.